David, Matt, thank you for joining me today. Uh, congratulations on the 12th season of uh, Aqua Teen Hunger Force. How do you guys uh, feel coming back? We feel pretty good about it. We feel pretty good about it. We're excited. Excited to get these things out there. And by the way, it's not actually the 12th season. I think it's the 14th or the 15th. Is it? Okay. It was uh, It was listed as that on the on the release I got. So I they apologize. Lied they lied yeah. to you, Manny. <laughs> I, I think so. Uh, I tried I, to I, push this false narrative everywhere. It's not 12 <laughs> seasons. It's 15. We're not even coming back. That's the weird part. <laughs> I'll um, believe it when I see it on TV. <laughs> I, I, did, I did enjoy that press release where it was like, it, it said a bunch of things and it was like, is any of this true? I don't know. You're going to have to tune in and find out. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I think I think that's what one of the things I enjoy about the show is kind of the randomness and and uh, and and just the, the wide range of topics that you guys have been able to cover. I mean, since like 2000 now, what's kept you guys going? Well, we always like to stay topical, Manny. You know how <laughs> <laughs> our trenchant observations can really. <laughs> I don't know what's kept us going, Matt. What do you think? I don't know. I think we just have all these. Crazy ideas that we just keep writing down and get money to make. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it's like it could it could not stop going. Honestly, it's not like we're running out of crazy stuff to animate. Well, I, well, I doubt it. With you know, with the with the way the world keeps changing, I, I think, especially if we think about the trajectory of the show, where the world was then and where we are now, I think you guys have plenty of content <laughs> to uh, to work with. Wouldn't you say? For sure. Yeah. So one of my questions is also is, uh, you, you know, with being with these characters now for so long, uh, do they kind of become like shoulder angels for you? Like, do, do they, uh, what what do they mean to you uh, after all these years? Well, Dave owes me a lot of money, so they help him pay me back. Uh, I don't know. Hello, I think Carl is kind of like our angry id. I think Beatwad is 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 our sweet underbelly. <laughs> I think Shake is an angry id too. <laughs> I, I think Frylock I think my is, Frylock is the voice of reason, telling us not to threaten someone in particularly uh, bad traffic situations. <laughs> Uh, I I think my favorite uh, episode, and then I just rewatched it the other night, was when uh, uh, was when Master Shake actually becomes like a either a sponsor or something for Boost Mobile, and every time he says "Where are you at?" like I I just, I just die laughing. He's just hilarious. I just love moments <laughs> like that. <laughs> well, it's it's funny. It's like the world has sort of changed as we made this show, and that used to be like a. That used to be a concern of people selling out. <laughs> we were never, we never had that concern. We were like, well, let's do some commentary on it, but let's actually. The only thing where we screwed up was we didn't get the money. <laughs> that one got the money. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because it was uncool back then, but. But we were uh... the ones that pitched that idea. It wasn't like ad sales coming to us. We were like, can we do like something for a product? And it would be a silly, silly, uh, you know, and that, that's how we ended up with Boost Mobile. Which does that exist, by the way, anymore? I, I think it does still. Um, I think I it's know. part of like another company now, like Metro PCS or something like that. But it's in the same vein. <laughs> huh. hmm. We should update it. <laughs> do yeah. do a follow up now with uh yeah. I I, I want to see the I I want to see the cast especially uh Master Shake as like a a social media influencer that would be a lot of fun. Of all the characters, he would definitely be the one that would be the one to sell out his own show and then collect all the money and not tell anybody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what what are some of the things that has have, have changed over the years that you'd say would make uh, making the show easier from when you started. Well, we started storyboarding. <laughs> We'd never storyboarded <clears throat> until we did the movie Plantasm. And it uh, made it so much easier. Made it so much easier and more efficient. What was what was the process before? 
mean, we had jamming we together had Photoshop stills and backgrounds and just moving them around and it took forever. I mean, those old shows, I mean, I think they still hold up, but if you look at them, they're all chewy and sort of weird, like, like low res. I mean, TVs and how TV was distributed changed over the course of this series, you know? We tried to up res it, <laughs> but it's not like a sci-fi movie where you can just go, wait, the robber's holding a gun, enhance, enhance on that block. <laughs> like, you can't do that. Yeah, you're, you're right, because uh, because now the episodes are not only on Adult Swim, but they they premiere the next day on Max, which is, which is something a little bit different. Um, what would you, uh, gentlemen, say to your fans who have been following you since the first season and, and now get to experience a, another one? Get ready for a comedy kick in the face. Again. I mean, yeah. The shows are... I think the shows are awesome. The episodes are awesome. They're very much consistent with everything we've ever done. And the characters are the same. It's just... It feels like we're all back in the saddle, you know? It feels great. On on that note, how important was it to you guys to make sure that, you know, even through this time, that the characters really remain the same? They're just, just put in different situations. I mean, it was absolutely important. But, I mean, we always thought of them as that. They don't change. They don't grow. They don't really learn anything. And if they do, it's for one episode. And then they come back and they're still the same exact things that live in our heads. They do learn, but by the end of the episode, they've forgotten. So, yeah so they're back to square one for the next and, episode and we've forgotten <laughs> <laughs> i i think that's what i think that's what makes it fun also is that you know some some people just never change and i think that's the case with especially master shakes frylock and and um a uh, meatwad and it, it's just it's just fun to watch i know that watching getting to watch some of the new episodes um I, when it when it kicked off, I was like, "Ooh, that's different." That's and then turns out he was in a whole other mindset. I don't want to give it away, and and it and it just made it that much funnier. Cool. Yeah, the next whole the whole next season, Shake's gonna look like this. He's got a six pack. <laughs> that's yeah. great. Yeah, and he's got a <laughs> the little stem of the leaf just covers his is in his butt crack, like a thong. And he has legs. <laughs> yes, and he has legs. <laughs> his beautiful muscular legs and arms. And the episodes are all just workout programs for how he keeps fit, you know? <laughs> Love that. workout programs. Yeah, that would be, that would be definitely be, uh, <laughs> that'd be fun to watch. Uh, what are, what are some of the things you guys want to continue to do with these characters? Exploit them. Push them Sell as them. far as they'll go <laughs> towards more insane uh, money-making ventures. Put them on NASCARs. Oh yeah. <laughs> put them uh, maybe maybe movies. even uh, put them on the sphere in Vegas. Put them there. <laughs> We've been trying to get in. They don't call us back. I think I think eventually you guys will get the call back. Uh yeah. gentlemen. If you two can play there, Aqua Team can play there. <laughs> Definitely. It's a great place. It would be a great place too, because they're animated characters. You, you could do whatever you want. It'd be it'd be so much yeah, fun. Yeah, it would be great if they the sphere took in uh like just did a beat wad in the sphere, but I fear that that would take our production budget for the first 14 seasons of the <laughs> series just to make that happen. They're going to do it in Vegas, but they're only going to do it for 70 seconds. <laughs> it's like Be worth sure to it. film it. No. <laughs> uh, gentlemen, thank you so much for your time. Congrats on another season. And I uh, hope to chat with you guys again. Great. Thank you. Thanks, Manny. Take care.